Good evening, thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with an all too familiar scene in America. Another deadly school shooting. This time, police say a 28 year old opened fire at a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. Authorities just releasing video showing the alleged shooter. We warn you, the images are disturbing. We debated whether to show you, but felt it was important. You can see the suspect's car pull into the school's parking lot. The shooter fires their way into the building and methodically walks through the hallways. Guns are now the leading cause of death for children between the ages of one and 19 in America. ABC's Alex Perez has more on how this tragedy unfolded. They got a little kid actor shooter in a school. At 10.13 a.m., the first call coming in, law enforcement racing to Covenant School. Five officers enter and hear gunshots coming from the second floor. They immediately went to the gunfire. There's Multiple victims down inside the school. Shooter is down as now as well. 10.27 a.m., 14 minutes after that first call, two officers confront and kill the shooter. Late today, police identifying those killed. Evelyn Dickhouse, Haley Scruggs, William Kinney, all nine years old. Catherine Kuntz, 60, the head of the school, according to its website, and Cynthia Peak, a substitute teacher, and Mike Hill, a custodian, both 61. I was literally moved to tears to see this and the kids as they were being ushered out of the building. The devastating images, small children moving single file, holding hands, terrified faces seen through school bus windows. Parents anxiously looking for their kids, running through parking lots, gathering at a nearby church, and supporting each other in prayer. We just need to embrace those that are grieving, because we grieve with them. Police identifying the shooter as 28-year-old Audrey Hale from Nashville, who at one point may have been a student at the school. Authorities say the shooter identified as transgender. Officers are searching Hale's home, finding maps of the school property and writings the shooter left behind. This tells you about someone whose total identity was wrapped into committing this mass shooting. According to police, all doors of the school were locked. Armed with two assault-style rifles and a handgun and multiple rounds of ammunition, Hale, police say, gained entry by shooting through one of the doors moving from the first to second floor, firing multiple rounds before being fatally shot by officers in the lobby area on the second floor. And tonight, President Biden addressing the nation. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools. Our 